Two years ago, the, the Convention on the International Trade in Endangered Species cited the bluefin tuna for being listed on the endangered species list. It should have been. It wasn't because of uh, bribes from China and from Japan. And it remains uh, not on that list, despite the fact that its numbers are below 7% of its original population. Bluefin tuna is in trouble. As far as I'm concerned, it's an endangered species. It's a unique species. It's a warm-blooded fish, the fastest fish in the ocean, sort of equivalent to the cheetah on land. The problem is, is that uh, if we don't start taking action, we're going to lose this in magnificent species. But then again, there seems to be some interest on the part of the people exploiting them to actually destroy them. It's the economics of extinction, as I call it, because as diminishment in the ocean translates into scarcity, which translates into higher prices for the ones that they have in their warehouse. They got a five to six year supply. They're trying to get a 10 year supply. And uh, if there's no more bluefin tuna in the ocean, and the only ones that exist are dead ones in warehouses, then this $70,000 fish will rise in price to a quarter of a million dollars of fish. So there could be billions of dollars in profits to companies like Mitsubishi if they succeed in wiping it out. And this is sort of something which is happening to a lot of other fisheries too. There are very few fishermen left anymore. It's been taken over by corporations whose entire reason for being involved in this is short-term investment for short-term gain. They're not interested in the future of the fishery. They want to get as much out of it as they possibly can right now. I think the bluefin tuna is probably a good example of what's happening to all of the fisheries. And uh, if we can't save a, a species as magnificent and as unique as the bluefin, I don't see how we're going to be able to save anything.